because we are finally showing you the final nursery for our baby boy Aiden. So I hope you guys enjoy and make sure if you like this video you give us a like and if you're new here I'd love for you to consider subscribing so let's go ahead and get started. because pretty much ever since I was pregnant with Kaylee back two years ago I always liked the gray and white scheme and then just a pop of color so with Kaylee we had pink and now this time around for baby boy we have a little light aqua blue as well as like some dark wood so you'll see this sign here above his crib where we put his name and we got this off of Etsy and then on the crib we also went with the same gray and white with the little hints of aqua bedding the gray crib rail and then the mobile just came with the uh, bedding set so we also have the white and gray chevron crib bumper with the white and aqua crib sheets and then we have this docotot in here because this is what kaylee had this is the docotot grand it's said to be for nine months and older up to i think 36 months so we will not be using it here inside the crib but mostly we'll probably just take it out and use like around the house if we're like in Katie's room or somewhere just for him to have somewhere to um, lay down on moving on to this other side of the uh, room we have the old rocking chair from Kaylee which is a rocker but also a glider and it still went perfectly with the theme because it's a charcoal gray so fit good for baby boy we just switched out this little blanket got a knit uh, or crochet I'm not sure what this is uh, in the cream color and then we have also Kaylee's boppy but I just changed out the slip cover on here for this uh, navy blue and gray whale print and then what we did not have with Kaylee was this little poof I guess you can call it I thought I needed something to rest my legs on for whenever um, for whenever I'm sitting here nursing my baby or just trying to get him to go to sleep because it'd be more comfortable to just have somewhere to prop your legs up on so I thought this would go great with this other rug that we also added in here because with Kaylee we had just a bare floor so I wanted something a little softer and more casual for the room to where we can have some space to play around with for like tummy time or you know just to play around and then also over here next to the glider we have this little basket that we got at Katie's gender reveal party and I just put 
a few little blankets of his in here that I can just pick up and use if I needed to. On the wall, we have animal art. So sticking with the wood theme from his name over the crib, we chose this little vase with a greenery. <laughs> Hi! Hello! And go. Bye. 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 So here on the wall we went with the animal art. So we have this little uh, vase with the greenery and then the frames also with the wood accent color that we have back here for his name on top of his crib. So we just got a little elephant and a giraffe and both of these as well as this little plant and a candle are from Hobby Lobby. These shelves were already there and those are from Target. So on this side we have this little raccoon and this is also from Hobby Lobby. And this is a, just in like a faded white and gray wood color. So that's here. And then below that we have this, what I like to call my nursing station. So this is where I'll have my breast pump. And then I also have this manual breast pump here. My bottle warmers in case we do use some bottles. And then down here, I have this little basket with some water bottles and then just a few little snacks like granola bars because when I'm here breastfeeding, you do tend to get very thirsty and hungry. So if I need some water or I need a little snack, then I can just reach over and grab it from here. Now moving over to this side of the room, we have again that dark wood color frame and we just printed out one of these uh, photos from our maternity shoot and put it there over his changing table, which is also the same one we had with Kaylee. So all we did was change out the changing pad cover to this gray with a um, little leaf design. On top here we have some of the baby wipes for him. And then I'll just show y'all a little sneak peek of what his uh, drawers look like. So they're all stocked up and ready to go for his arrival. All of his clothes have been washed and folded. So we're pretty much set for him to come. And then down here, we just kept Kaylee's uh, little rug that she had in front of her crib, just moved it over to this side to give it a little bit more of a cozy feel. Okay, so in this corner, we have a few more of the animal wall art, and I got this set of three at Home Goods. And I just loved it because it says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you think, and more love than you will ever know which is the honest truth. So on this side, I also went with this little cute elephant that has a little nose knob sticking out because I just needed somewhere to hang up his towel, so that's that. And this little toy Kaylee had, so I just thought I'd go in here for him. And then the diaper genie, I actually had one of those slip covers to go over it for Kaylee, but it was a gray and pink one. And I knew I can buy another one, but I actually checked and I didn't really like the styles that they had. They only had about three styles to choose from. So just so it wouldn't look plain and white, I added this um, burlap and the juke rope around just to tie it in a little bit more with the wood theme. So in his closet, we have a few more of his clothes, mostly the clothes that won't fit him until he's like about three months and older. So I have all those here hanging and categorized by these little marks here. As you can see, this is zero to three months. So only three little shirts here for that size and then everything else is bigger. So I have that hanging here, a few of his shoes here, his uh, wipes off to the side. And then up here to the top, we have a little stash of diapers going on. So we're pretty much set for a little while with size one, size two, three and a couple of size four. So that's pretty much all for his closet. And then last but not least, here next to the crib, we have this little hamper that used to be um, a little storage organizer, I guess, for Kaylee's toys, but we will be using it for baby boy's uh, dirty clothes. And then we have the camera here to keep an eye on him. So that is all for today's video, you guys. Thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this nursery tour, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we will be having a lot more videos coming your way. 
baby boy's arrival hopefully we can vlog it and yeah that's all so thank you all for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye Thank you.